These moments had us laughing our butts off and squirming in our seats. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest comedy movie scenes. For this list, we're looking at awkward yet hilarious scenes. We'll be excluding cringy scenes from serious dramas, like the first date scene from Taxi Driver. If tragedy and comedy are linked, these clips prove why. Sometimes all you can do is cringe and laugh at the same time. As always, please beware of spoilers ahead. Number 10. Death and Defecation – Death at a Funeral Fair warning, if you're eating while watching, you may want to put the food down now. Taking our 10th spot, we have legends Danny Glover and Tracy Morgan getting themselves into a hot mess. Literally. And just when you think it can't get more cringy than getting your hand stuck in a toilet while an old man is uh, occupying it, think again. Bodily functions are a surefire way to up the cringe factor especially when the setting is a funeral, a time usually reserved for somber reflection, quiet, and respect. This scene has none of those things, and instead we watch as Morgan's character gets himself deeper and deeper into, well, we won't finish that sentence. How did something like that happen? Oh my, oh. Number nine, Super Freak, Little Miss Sunshine. In a movie filled with unexpected moments, both awkward and wonderful, the final dance number in Little Miss Sunshine stands out as a scene that is as cringy as it is cute. Abigail Breslin owns the character of Olive, who unfortunately has to learn the hard way that she's not Little Miss Sunshine material. Please don't let her do this. Olive Hoover, two minutes. Look, she's not a beauty queen. She's just not. That doesn't mean she doesn't give it her all, though. You know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning, they don't even try. Now, you're trying, right? Yeah. Well, then you're not a loser. As she showcases moves that shock judges and spectators for all the wrong reasons, the scene pays off as weird and endearing at the same time. Weird or not, it had all of us dying of laughter and cheering when her family supportively joined in. Number 8. Mike Yanagita, Fargo For most of us, asking someone out on a date can make for an awkward encounter. But hopefully we never seem as cringy as Mike Yanagita in the Coen's 1996 masterpiece, Fargo. You mind if I sit over here? Uh, I was married to Linda Cooksey. No, why don't you sit over there? I prefer that. Huh? Oh. Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> Sure, the movie centers around a botched crime that involves a person being murdered in a wood chipper, but the hardest scene to watch probably comes when Mike makes a pass at Marge following the death of his wife. Oh, and then I saw you on the TV and uh, I remembered, you know, I always liked you. Well, I always liked you. I always Mike. liked you so much. From his dopey smile at the start of the scene to his puppy dog tears at the end, the four-minute encounter in a Radisson plays out like a slow-moving train wreck. All we can do is sympathize with Marge as she sips her Diet Coke and waits for this cringe fest to be over with. You were such a super lady. And then, <laughs> I've been so lonely. <laughs> it's okay, Mike. Number seven, dinner party, Borat. Where do we even begin with this one? Yet you match. I'm my name Borat. I like you. Borat was a cultural phenomenon that produced some of the funniest unscripted moments in modern cinema. Played by Sasha Baron Cohen, the titular character is a tornado of poor manners, bad taste, and raunchy, cringy encounters, and the dinner scene epitomizes all of these. This is my friend uh, Lunel. Hi. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Well, we were. I, I don't know exactly what all that we're doing. It is getting very, very late. You have to excuse me. I'm going to have to go. From carrying a bag of his own excrements to the dinner table to awkwardly musing about how his countrymen would go crazy over one man's wife and not another's, 
The scene is as hilarious as it is hard to stomach. But can she come for desserts? Absolutely not, and neither can you. Number six, like warm apple pie, American pie. This star-making scene turned Jason Biggs from a relative unknown into the poster boy for cringe comedy. Uh (laughs) That's great. (laughs) It's one thing to experiment and think outside the box, but an apple pie? Of course, the crowning moment in this scene comes when Jim's dad, played marvelously by Eugene Levy, walks in on him in this compromising position. Jim's naivete and his total lack of common sense, why do this right there in the kitchen, makes his character that much more lovable and relatable. Well, we'll just tell your mother that uh, that uh, we ate it all. But it certainly doesn't make the scene any easier to watch. Well, you, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Course, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I, no, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Number five, voicemail fail. Swingers. In a brilliant and underrated movie, this scene still manages to set itself apart. Struggling to get over his ex, John Favreau's character Mike Peters calls up a girl he just met and just cannot stop leaving voice messages. Hi, uh, Nikki. This is Mike. I met you at the um at the Dresden uh, tonight. Uh, I just called to, to say that I had a great time and you should call me tomorrow or in uh, two, two days, uh, whatever. What makes this monologue so cringeworthy is how unbelievably long it lasts. Watching it, we all wish we could bust into that dingy apartment and pry the phone from Favreau's shaky, clammy hands. But as the stuttering and awkwardness mounts, we're left to cover our faces and thank our lucky stars that we're not the ones leaving the message. Mike? Nikki, great. Did, did you just uh, walk in, or were you, were you listening all along? Don't ever call me again. Wow. I, I guess you're home. This movie is money. You're so money, and you don't even know it. Number four, Bag of Sand, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Have you ever gotten so deep into a lie that the only way out was to just keep lying? That's how Andy must feel about 10 seconds into the poker scene. Andy, do me a favor. Would you please help him redeem himself by telling a real sex story? Yes. Uh, I don't, you know what, I'm, I'm a gentleman and I don't, uh, you know, I don't kiss and tell. Not wanting to reveal that he is a virgin, Andy is forced to improvise a sexual encounter that never happened. And in doing so, he all but confirms to the other guys at the table that he's never really been with a woman. I dated this girl for a while and she was really a nasty freak. She just loved to get down with sex all the time. She was like, any time of day, she was like, yeah, let's go. I'm so nasty. If there's ever a movie to avoid watching with mom and dad, it's this one. As there is basically nothing more cringy than Carell's lovable character trying to convince his buddies of his sexual prowess by describing a woman's breast as a bag of sand. Bag of sand? You know what I mean. Why don't we just play? Why don't us just deal the cards? Number three, dress shopping, bridesmaids. This is designer as well. Is anyone else hot? It yeah. is like yeah. an oven yeah, in here. From the first stomach rumbles, this scene had a squirming. Little did we know just how far it would go. When bride-to-be Maya Rudolph's Lillian and her bridesmaids head to a high-end bridal boutique, their visit is cut short by a serious case of food poisoning. You know, I don't really care which dress we get. It doesn't matter to me. I just need to get off this white carpet. No, okay. No, not the bathroom. Everybody, go outside. I'm serious. What follows are some of the most memorable, hilarious, and cringiest moments in cinema history, with Melissa McCarthy desperately relieving herself in a swanky bathroom sink. Is it weird that this scene is as hard to watch as it is to look away from? And to think that this comedy hit boasts more than one mega cringy scene. I'm ready to party with the best of them. And I'm gonna go down to the river. Number two, cat milking. Meet the parents. Let's be real here for a second. What can be more cringe-inducing than Robert De Niro saying, I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Let us answer that question by showing Ben Stiller's character miming in close-up the way he once milked his imaginary cat on a farm in Detroit. Meet the Parents will go down as one of the great fish-out-of-water comedies of all time. 
And so much of its humor is derived from Ben Stiller's Greg embarrassing himself in front of his stuck-up in-laws. Let me guess, Jack. Is that one of your little secret cameras, too? Huh? Greg, Greg, that's a burn, which holds the remains of Jack's mother. The look on his soon-to-be wife's face in the scene tells us all we need to know. This is cringe comedy at its finest. That's my future son-in-law. What do you think? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few other cringe-worthy honorable mentions. Nickname Fail. I love you, man. What is a Jobin? We get home safe, Pistol. You got it, Jobin. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Text Mishap. The Edge of 17. Regretting a text is even worse when it's read out loud by someone else. Say something. Oh my God, say something, please help me. You need to watch out for run-on sentences. Break up, happiness. It's not me, it's you. You think I don't understand fashion? You think I'm not hip? You think I'm pathetic, a nerd? Clean up, game night, just spreading around the mess. Here we go. Here we go, huh? Huh? Not so much worse. Licking dog poop. Step brothers. These bullies mean business. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. The Zipper, there's something about Mary. If there's one actor who's mastered the art of cringe, it's Ben Stiller. The guy is just hilarious when his back is against the wall, and the zipper scene in the criminally good There's Something About Mary is all the proof anyone needs. I, I got it stuck. You got what stuck? It. Oh! We won't go into the details of the scene for fear of being banished by YouTube, but suffice it to say, you'll have a hard time watching it through to the end. Heck, it's one thing to get yourself in a bind, but another thing entirely when everyone is brought in to have a look. Mike, Eddie, get down here quick. Bring everybody, bring a camera, you're not gonna believe this. This scene changed the way folks zip up their flies like Jaws changed the way we swim in the ocean. A one and a two. And, uh, we got a bleeder! Keep the pressure on, keep it on! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.